Hi guys. I know I haven't been with you guys in a while except for the cooking video, but I've had like the summer cold from hell this week and uh, it just really sucks. So I feel like shit. I look like shit. So I haven't been feeling like going on camera. And uh, But I do have some fun things piling up to show you. And what I'm going to do today so that um, I do get to chat with you guys is walk you around and show you all the yard work I was doing, I've been doing um, since last Thursday. And then probably, you know, I normally I don't get many colds because I take zinc every day. But um, what happened was I had my physical on Friday and, uh, you know, there's always sick people in the doctor's office, so uh, that, along with all the stuff I probably inhaled when I was doing the major yard work, probably irritated the sinuses and just slammed me. No fun at all. And now we're going to we're gonna have a heat wave starting tomorrow. I think Sunday it's going to be 101. So uh, what I'm going to do is pick you up and take you around the woodland, the atomic universe, show you what I have been doing. Back in a bit. All right, as you can see, um, with the amount of trees that I do have, the uh, backyard doesn't get very much sun, so the grass doesn't really grow back here. <coughs> but I don't, that's fine because we like to play croquet and and uh, horseshoes and stuff like that back here. So the grass not growing here doesn't bother me at all. So what I have done was I've taken out a couple of bushes. I took out a sticker bush over here. I took out a huge bush over here. And I took out four trees back here. One of which is that here I'll get closer one of which was this stump that I decided to use for a flag pole and um, some wind wind chimes because this particular tree was growing up and over all the way to the roof of this shed and over my little patio there so I wanted to get that out, and I took that one, that one, that one, there's one back there. So, um, getting a lot of those branches down, and even the small trees that had massive amounts of branches, so I got a lot of room back here, and look how much fence I've uncovered, and I could put more new um, things on. As you know, I love to decorate the shed and the fence with with what I call fence art, shed art, whatever. So this um, iron cross was behind the bush that I took, down, took out over there. And uh, I finally unearthed it. I've been trying to get to it for a long time, but the sticker bush was in my way. So I finally got this out and now I can enjoy it again. This has been here on this fence. It was one of the first things I hung on this fence um, when the fence was first put up, uh, about, I, I believe, like, <coughs> 27 or 28 years ago. So this was my first fence piece, a big, heavy-duty iron cross, really beautiful thing. There's the new Jesus. This is a uh, British license plate thing that my dad had on his Jaguar back in the day. Found it in his garage, put it there. Um, my Jamaica One Love that I used to have on the deck, I put a hanging thing on it and I put that on the deck. I got this in the thrift, this in the thrift. These were new acquisitions. Um, when I cleaned everything, when I raked and cleaned all the leaves away, I found my um, one of my fonts. That one had fallen off through the winter, I guess. So that was unearthed. We have all my uh, vintage license plates here. The oldest one of which is a New Jersey 1949. Um, I assume that this was one of my grandfather's because my dad uh, would have been too young to drive in 1949. <laughs> um, New York commercial, very fun. And uh, 
what else let's see I moved the uh, the moms over here I have this little carved whale that a friend of mine made for me oh my gosh about 25 years ago we all went to Cape Cod together and he uh, he came back after our whale watching thing and made that for me and I love him um, what else I got this very antique um, galvanized gasoline can that's always been here but it's been covered by ivy pulled that out most everything here has been here except for a couple of things I'm gonna sneeze guys all right maybe not all right uh, I've shown you these before but this one was my the historic plate for my hearse these are some of my grandfather and father's old cars and this was just an, something I picked up at a flea market this little guy I got him last night in the thrift isn't he awesome it's been a very kabuki kind of week in the thrift and and you'll see why when I get to do a finds video at some point I got that sign in um, Belfast about let's see when was I in Belfast uh, 19, 1990 or 91 I think I got this in the thrift the other night very pretty I love that I put this thing here where I took the sticker bush away from and uh, um, I added these um, these beautiful jugs I showed you those and I found two perfect ferns uh, last Sunday for here so I'm really happy about that I did get a new um, umbrella for here it didn't come yet it's on the way I think it'll be here Tuesday got a pretty red umbrella which I think will show up really well with everything um, back here give us some color and um, this weekend I think I will get some uh, chair pads for my uh, for my little bistro set here so this entire thing here, this entire area, from there all the way to behind the uh, Maori Tiki, all that has been cleaned out. So you can imagine all the stuff that I was inhaling while I was doing that, because I was in the bushes, believe me. So that definitely irritated my sinuses, and now I'm all messed up. <laughs> All right. Um, everything else here is pretty much the same, I think, except that I put the uh, stop by for a spell sign over here, which used to be on the uh, used to be on the fence in another spot that I cleared out closer to the house, and uh, so I put that out here. Everything over here is the same. Everything basically the same over here. Um, I got, I, I think I showed you that, that Bud Light uh, bucket thing uh, for the, what do you call it, the lids when we use the opener here. And we're going to go up to the, uh, my nose is running like crazy. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's coming out. Um, I'll take you over by the garden and show you um, what my tomatoes are up to right now I put these great Bob Villa uh, pots here at flowers I love that uh, the herbs of course are still doing really nicely a lot of hot Sun right here look how many peppers are on here so many peppers on there of course they're still doing pretty good Oregano's doing great. Uh, the thyme is doing great. There's some little tomatoes right there starting. These are the, uh, I forget what these are called, Navajo purple. I think they're called Navajo purples. They're an heirloom tomato. My basil is really growing nice. Uh, these are the Mr. Stripies. You can see a little tomato starting there. Lots of flowers on there. And this one over here is the San Marzano's. Lots of flowers on that too. So that's really fun. Oh my god, my nose is running so bad. Um, put the summer flags up. I put the lobster. You know me and rock lobsters. 
this is my um, this is my salvia and it's so beautiful it comes back every year and this is my other oregano plant and this is Olaf celebrating summer really beautiful day we're having here hot but um but there's a nice breeze and uh, <coughs> My boss let me leave a couple hours early because I was really sick and nobody wanted me breathing on them. <laughs> Especially since he's going to Europe next week and I, I really don't want to, I don't want him to be sick because of me um, on his first trip to Europe. So that would suck. All right. Um, so I guess that's about it out here, guys. Um, I just wanted to show you what I've been doing and why I haven't been around because it, it's been a lot of work. It's, um, well, you know, a week's worth of work and I did it all the time. Like, I did it all day Thursday, that first day off, and, uh, that's when I got the bulk of it done, like the big trees and, uh, that big bush there. And then even one morning before work, I, I was cutting down branches, <clears throat> like over here like where they were hanging too close to the deck so I cut those like in the morning before work I was like really gung-ho this week you know and uh, then uh, yesterday was it or no two days ago when I got home from work I cut down this sticker bush here and um, just really um, really happy really happy with the results so the yard is all ready uh, for this year um, hoping to have barbecue tomorrow. I mean, I don't know if I should be cooking, making other people sick, but I know a lot of people depend on me. <laughs> and, uh, so I probably will if I feel, you know, if I feel somewhat better. I will definitely do that. I'll marinate the chicken tonight anyway. And, uh, I'm going to use the brew cues, um, Asian marinade. He's got a Korean marinade, which uh, looks really good. So I'm going to try that one today and uh, make some German sausage and peppers, some broccoli and foil on the grill, and um, what else? Oh, some roasted potatoes. And this is what I feel like doing. This is what I have planned. And I went food shopping last night for the barbecue and I'm glad that I did because I certainly don't feel like doing that right now. It's, I would not have felt like doing that today and I almost had the feeling I wouldn't so um, I'm glad I got that all done. So anyway guys that's what's going on and that is why you haven't seen me all this work and this damn cold <laughs> which hopefully will be leaving my system in a couple of days and I'd be so happy. So I'll be back with you very, very soon. I love you all. Comment, subscribe. Um, tell me what you think of what I've done out here. And I will t I'll be back with you uh, any day now. I love you all. Bye.